Hey everyone, it's Exo Man. I have a little update for you on the cutting of the palm tree. And happy 4th of July or Independence Day to you. Take that tree down. Yeah, and I figured out that I could pull some parts of my fence out. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do, make it easy, I'm going to back my truck up. And I'm going to cut it with my chainsaw or my, or my axe. And then I'm going to let it fall in my truck. Then I can carry it over to your property. Ah. That's a trailer you need to haul it out. It's a gorgeous day evening and there's no time like the no. stop it why? don't judge me why you gotta work into the wee hours wee hours it's summer it's summertime crazy time for bed <laughs> <laughs> and you just took a bath. It's a good thing I've been drinking. Yeah. Oh no. That ought to work. Yeah, no. It'll take like two seconds, right? Mmm. It's, it's very quiet. What if people are sleeping? Time. Eight. 40 or something. Morning light. Okay. Oh, pretty. Holy. Crazy. Hey. So how about now? You ready for bed now? What a lot of people didn't understand was I cut that tree at that height so that I didn't cut it down here because if I had cut it down low, it would have destroyed my tailgate, which sits about this high. I cut it higher so that it would hit in the front of the bed of the truck first. And I backed my truck up at a <clears throat> proper distance so that the crown of the tree didn't go through my wind back window. And also, <clears throat> People assumed that these were destroyed. Well, I took them out prior to dropping the tree. In other words, everything was executed according to a plan. <clears throat> and uh, that's just how it goes. That's just how it works. That's how it's supposed to work. Let's go over here. And my old truck is as good as she ever was. That's a, that's a good truck. That's a hard working truck right there. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> so, so how did it go with the, uh, with the stunt? The stunt? <laughs> the tree, felling the tree. Oh. Dropping the tree. It's fabulous. <laughs> it worked great. Drove the truck today. <laughs> so it's supposedly, according to all the trolls and cowards that like to say ugly things, supposedly the truck is ruined. Truck's good. Truck's good. <laughs> I've had I've had at least five guys so far say, "Wow, you destroyed your truck." Well, I didn't destroy the truck. Didn't it's all just, good. Didn't destroy the suspension, but. Uh, but it's kind of, it's a little bit entertaining. How do I, how do I explain this? 
people will go people will pay good money to go to the movie theater and watch people blow up cars they blow up cars because they're entertainers i don't necessarily like that i'm not saying i would blow up my car yeah we're not blowing up my car but it's they take risks. My father was a professional stuntman. He worked for 20 years like for Chuck Connors and all those Western guys. He did a lot of stunts for a lot of those mm -hmm. guys. He took calculated risks. I took a calculated risk here, and it was entertaining. Um, what you damages... Knew it, you knew it wasn't really a risk. Yeah, I, know, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I can make mistakes, but I typically execute things as planned. What damages my truck are idiots in parking lots that do stuff like this. They knock things, they knock their car doors into it, etc. But uh, some people prob probably have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Right. So we did a video yesterday where I, no, that's not gonna work, where I dropped the tree, this palm tree, into my truck and wow. One jackass said that it was dumb to drop it into your truck and then and then cut it up somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. Well, he didn't. He, he, it was lost on him that I didn't want to make a huge mess. Yeah, that was smart, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was calculated. I thought yeah. about it and I thought, I don't want to drop the tree right there because then the palm trees explode into a million pieces, all those frogs up there. So I took this. Especially when they're dead. I dropped it in my truck. I already have dead weeds out here. I don't, want to, I don't want to have to break a bunch of stuff out of the rocks. And then yet another jackass said, way to damage your fence. Did you see me that? I'm telling you, they want me to fail so badly. And it's just, it makes them miserable. One day, maybe. Keep One watching. day, keep watching. Keep <laughs> watching and you'll see Exo Man. Oh. Keep watching. And, another, and two people said, Straighten your flag out, people. Stop with the stop with the management and di it out? and directing, huh? Straighten it out. Yeah. Well, every well, once in a while the wind blows. <laughs> yeah. And I did straighten it out, and then it blew again. And uh, that's just the way it is. It's straight. We have a bunch of directors and critics, but we also have a bunch of people that that love our love our channel. And Alright, are we ready to go to the fireworks? Alright, let's go to the fireworks. Happy 4th of July, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Gorgeous. Because they know, no, because they know my gate. It's unique. Your knee's clicking. Uniqua. <laughs> Jennifer's Moose Lodge name is Uniqua. <laughs> That's when I was a little kid the first time I was broken.